I gotta be honest, folks. I cannot believe that we haven't even started to watch the trailer yet, and there's already several things to discuss. Okay, that portal, up until I get a closer look at it, I guess, looks the exact same as the one that, potentially, Wagstaff was working on in the Voxola factory that Winona had to fix herself, and the one that Winona got dragged into anyways by Charlie after she did fix it. In fact, I'm so confident that I'm probably just going to pull it up right here, and it probably is exactly the same thing. Then, of course, at the left there, that is looking like Wagstaff has then put the energy he siphoned from a defeated Celestial Champion into some other thing, to fuel said portal. Okay, one freeze frame before the trailer even starts, and all that already to take in. Oh, you old coots, what have you been up to this time? I don't think, no, this isn't really a moonstorm, I don't think. It worked. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work for long though. Oh, no, 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 it's definitely not working for long. Blew up. It blew freaking up. It blew... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, we'll go back. I think I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but there we go. The unnatural portal. Was it spinning the right way? Was it spinning the opposite way? The same way? What was out of that ooze coming out of it? Awesome. But hello, Wendy, Weber, Wilson. How you guys doing? Oh! <laughs> you know what? That's actually kind of funny because that's like sometimes what happens. <laughs> sometimes monkey raids are crazy. Get oh, that doesn't happen anymore. They don't destroy sails. They used to. And chests. Ooh, hello, Mookie Queen. She noticed us, too. <laughs> she noticed us, too. I guess they're coming after us. Nope, she won't do that. She has to take uh, bananas. More gameplay. Lots of gameplay. Lots of gameplay. Docs. You know what? Yeah, I, this is definitely an update that you need... Uh, gameplay for. That also isn't what happened. If you shoot their boats, they flee now. Ooh, and a trinket. Is it going to be something fancy here? I'm smelling it for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Picking and choosing, you say, huh? Oh, weird. Clay decided not to show... The wonky curse. And now that I think about it, they didn't even, like... That trailer didn't explain why or how it's a curse in the first place. Alright, before we go a little frame by frame of the start there, I went down to the description to see if there were going to be any other notes. But it doesn't look like that's the case, folks. Uh, someone has been meddling. We already read this in some of the official posts and everything. Yeah, I don't think... Anything here is going to help us. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, believe it or not, there's not too much to talk about in this trailer, which is kind of surprising. But this, that is him, Wagstaff, or at least his projection, the grainy transmission, sailing away in what we should assume is a grainy transmission of a boat. <laughs> this guy has, this guy has, oh my gosh, he's sailing away on a boat that's not even there either. His control over things in the constant, though, oh my gosh, should come into question like crazy. So, he did get it to work. He got a portal to work. The first one in a very long time since the Gorge and the Forge. And even then, like, those were kind of flukes. And maybe not even lore-friendly anymore, apart from the Gorge one. Hmm. But then it goes kablooey. Like, big time. And then we get the unnatural portal with stuff just oozing out of it. So, he built this somewhere way out at sea, right? This is probably why our survivors didn't hear the explosion, didn't encounter him after uh, we fought the Celestial Champion and defeated the Celestial Champion. And then this happened, opens up this rift in time and space, stuff starts oozing out, and combined just, uh, you know... Think of it like lava, you know, when a volcano erupts at sea, the lava helps obviously create islands. So that explains this, I suppose. I don't think the portal is spinning in opposite direction. It was always about sucking in because we were gonna use it to go somewhere, or at least he was. Hmm, is he trying to save us or is he trying to save himself? 
Either way, he's doing everything and even this without really considering what he's doing. You know what I mean? Man, 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 man. So I suppose we should probably just start asking some questions because as always, a clay animation answers some questions while giving us a thousand more. If we did help him use the celestial energy to start this portal, where was this portal actually going to? Like I just said, was we trying to get out? Is he trying to get out? Or is he trying to go to the moon? But then again, the moon isn't a place. It's a thing. It's one of them. It's Alter, right? So, yeah. Once again, questions upon questions. And of course, a closer look at the portal here. Uh, maybe slightly upgraded since the Voxola one, but pretty much identical, right? So, yeah, if we start along this line of where this portal is going, why is this portal here? Did he build it here before these events? Because he had a portal in the Voxola factory, right? Let's say he got sucked in, because he did. Uh, or at least we assume so. And then he got stuck here, and then he made a new one, but he could never power it. Because the, well, the way the constant works isn't the same as real life. Maybe he himself, or at least his projection, just got stuck here. But why would he care about that, I wonder? Hmm, once again, questions. And as it's blowing up, there he goes, as we saw earlier. With his very own fancy bow, too. That's definitely a different sale. There's other gizmos on it. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of somewhat disappointed that, honestly, it's only like the first 20-ish seconds that we get, like, any lore at all. But I get it. This update is a massive gameplay overhaul. It really is. So, the majority of the trailer being gameplay, you know what? I get it. The old coot is still at it. Hmm. As Clay said themselves, this is one of three setting the stage updates. Does that mean other portals as well? Uh, we have that one portal, the inactive portal in the ancient archive. Maybe that will be the third and final one. Maybe he'll discover that some way, somehow, if he hasn't already. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's really cool, though. In fact, I think the portal's the coolest part of the entire flipping update. But speaking of, yes, the Curse of Moon Key update is out now. And, uh, well, we covered it top to bottom for sure. But we have one last uh, review and overview if you want to see that. Also, a wicker bottom refresh is on the horizon. Sorry that this is not a longer reaction or like a better lore breakdown, but to be honest, again, we can't really get too much out of that. You know, we got what we got. He was building a portal. He used the celestial champion energy to try to power it. It did work until it didn't. And then he f just fled the scene. Like, why? He's a scientist, right? Wouldn't he want to stick around and see what was happening? That's what I mean, man. I do not trust this guy one bit. He's meddling with things he does not understand, and we are paying the consequences. One of these days, it's going to be irreversible. It is. And then that's probably the day that, uh, well, not just in-game stuff changes, but we might actually say goodbye to Don't Start Together. Let me know your thoughts on this and what I just said, because yeah, these setting the stage things might actually be setting the stage for the final content arc of this game. I'm thinking next year might be it. It might be it. What else can they do? They can't really keep adding this, that, the other into the game. You know what I mean? And Wagstaff is getting more and more bold and he keeps messing up and he's having profound impacts on the constant right now. Oh boy. Uh, both Charlie and probably Alter are not going to take that lightly. But thanks for watching, folks. Well, with the wall, I hope you are enjoying the Moon Key update. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.